Today I'm going to run through how you record audio onto a hi-fi VHS machine. I'll be doing a mix down from a Tascam 4-track cassette porter studio, but you could use any device you like. It could be a reel-to-reel -reel recorder, a digital multi-track, DAW or even a record player. Either way, the main principles will remain the same. There's a few things you'll need to get hold of before you get started. Top of the list is a Hi-Fi VCR unit. The standard ones have poor audio quality, so aren't any use as a mix down device. You'll also need to get yourself a VHS tape. You'll need the cables to connect everything together. For my setup, I need a stereo phono cable to go from my four track to the VCR. I also need to get a stereo phono to stereo jack lead to connect with my audio interface. If you've got a different sort of interface, you might need to get a different lead for this stage. Finally, you'll need a computer with a sound card and audio editing software. I'm using Logic Pro, but there's plenty of free software available on the net. You can obviously skip this stage if you don't want to digitize your recordings from the VHS tape. Okay, so let's get this all connected up. So I'm going to start off by plugging these stereo phono leads in. So that's from the line out of the Tascam. So that gives me the stereo mix that I'm going to be recording onto Hi-Fi VHS. And then the other end will go into the audio in of your Hi-Fi VHS recorder. Now, each deck will be a little bit different. On this one, it only has a standard audio output. So I've had to buy this little connector, which converts a SCART output into a standard phono connector. Now it's pretty cheap. I think this one costs about two pound on eBay and it does a pretty good job. So next we need to connect this lead. So this goes into the audio output of the VHS. And the other end is gonna go into my audio interface. Now the next stage might be a little bit different on your setup, um, but for me here with my particular Hi-Fi VHS recorder, I need to set it onto A2, which I guess means audio input two. These are the TV channels you could tune into, but they are no use for us today as we're recording audio only. The next stage is preparing your source material to get it ready to record onto the VHS deck. Okay, let's pop a tape in and just check the mix first of all. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you can use any different device you want to for your actual mix. Um, this is all analog, of course, and I'm quite keen to keep it in the analog domain, hence mixing down to the, um, the VHS. Let's have a quick run through to make sure the levels are okay. I'm going to pan the guitar slightly left and right to get more stereo width to the mix. Probably a bit less bass would be good. Okay, that sounds about right. So let's rewind and get the VCR ready to roll. Okay, so let's put the tape in. My unit doesn't have an audio input display. You tend to get this on some of the older units, but they can be a bit more complicated to set up. From my experience, you can get away with just setting the levels by using your multi-track output display. And I've not had any problems with overloading the VCR with the stuff I've been doing. I'd suggest you do a few test recordings first to make sure you're getting usable levels before going for a full mix though. I'm now putting this into the record mode on my unit, you just hit the record button and off it goes. Finally, I'm gonna hit play on my multi-track device. And let's give it a quick run through. Right, so I've finished recording now, so time to press stop on the VHS recorder. I need to rewind back to zero. I'm now going to record the mix from the VHS tape into the DAW. I've already got the leads plugged in, so I'll just show you how I've set things up in Logic. I'm recording to a stereo track, so just need to set up the input levels on my interface. 
staying below zero dB. Then I'll hit record in Logic. Here we go. So you're now hearing the digital audio back from VHS. I've not done any mastering processing yet, so you're just hearing the uncompressed signal. I don't know what you think, but it sounds pretty close to the original multi-track tape session to me. Right, final thing you might want to do is some mastering processing in your DAW. Now, if you have external devices such as a multiband compressor and an EQ unit, you could do this before hitting the VHS tape. Unfortunately, I don't have that gear, so I'm going to have to do that in the digital domain. So I'm going to set up my EQ and logic, cut out a little bit of the mid range and just you know get things to sound a bit sweeter. I'm then going to add a limiter on the stereo bus just to pump up the volume a little bit, but hopefully not ruining the dynamics. All right, so this is what it sounds like once it's been processed in Logic. From the farm with no sense of alarm, they lying in the hay, just in the same way that he would meet his end. Oh, a bat is broken. The night he left Crown Street to patrol his being a heavy blow to the head. They left him there for day, a heavy blow to the head. They left him there for day. Right, well, I hope that's been useful. If you've got any questions about any of the different stages here, please let me know. And I'll look forward to seeing you next time.